All right, my name is Chris Dingus from the Westminster Fire Department in Colorado, and uh, this is our new 107-foot aerial that we built here. Uh, one of the distinguishing features that we've been doing on our rigs is uh, all clean cab setups. So we have uh, our air packs mounted outside the rig here. So we, we decided to go with a, a roll-up to keep everything clean so we don't have any anything that's going to open out and up that we could hit on anything. This is going to have a slide here so our air packs are able to uh, stay in this cabinet here out of the cab. Inside the cab we have the the tough seats that are easily wiped down, nice clean uh, surfaces that we can keep keep clear of obstructions. And then uh, we also we, we run we run pumps on our on our aerial, so technically a quint here. Um, keep a nice clean pump panel as well, and all our roll-ups are behind, or our, sorry, our pre-connects are behind a roll-up here now as well. This is the first time we've done this. Uh, normally we have the netting uh, that you know doesn't doesn't usually last over over 10 years or so. This, I'm pretty excited to keep everything enclosed so we don't have a pre-connect coming loose and, and falling, down the, falling down the street. Um, as we move back here, you'll see we went with the rear steer option. So in our city, uh, they're starting to make a new downtown area and the streets are, are much more narrow than they used to be. So this is an option to give us a lot better turning radius uh, than we've been able to achieve and I'm pretty excited to see this uh, in play because it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna change our cramp angle quite a bit. So we're pretty excited about that feature as well. Um, let's see, some other pieces on the, back, on the back side here. Around this side, we have, uh, we also operate this kind of like a light rescue. So we have these, slide out pull outs these are going to have paratex struts mounted on here that we can just unpin and take to a scene to stabilize vehicles or or uh, rapidly shore up a uh, building collapse something of that nature and then um, we've been a pretty big fan of these these swing out tool boards these have worked well we've, we've done this on a lot of our engines already um, they hold a surprising amount of of tools on both sides. This looks really narrow, but we're able to fit all of our hand tools in this compartment um, on, on front and back, as well as mount stuff on the back wall. We, we usually mount a, a high lift jack or something, something of that nature to the, the back wall as well. So it's amazing what this, what this offers to, to be able to fit stuff in and not have stuff in front of stuff, uh, because we try to avoid that as much as possible. We're, we're moving everything to battery operated hydraulic system. So uh, we have this real tall, deep cabinet with a slide. This is gonna hold a, a pedestal here where we'll have our cutters and spreaders uh, on, a, on a rotating pedestal uh, that'll come out here. So we're, we're pretty excited about that. One other thing that we, we really like to do is, is have power wired so we can, we can set up uh, chargers or uh, mount lights or ticks in the in the cabinets. That's been that's been something that's saved our our mechanics a lot of extra work. If you get this pre-wired, this has been a, a pretty big lifesaver for us as well. So um, that's the vast majority of this rig. We do you do see up here. We went with a, a Stokes basket holder as well. Uh, we used to just have one giant. Uh, doghouse tray, or not doghouse tray, can even, or coffin tray almost on the other side that was really deep and it used to have our Stokes basket set on top and we're excited about how clean this is going to keep that cabinet as well as uh, allow access for that Stokes. Every, every time we, we do a rig here with Pierce, they're, they're over the top with uh, delivering on, on what they say they're going to be able to do. Um, the actual build time of these rigs is unbelievable to me they're working around the clock here all the time and every every time they've set a date they've always met or exceeded that expectation so well big thanks to Dwayne from Front Range Fire he's always been our go-to guy for this and 
we're really, really happy with the outcomes that, uh, that, we, that we get here. Everybody's really, really pleased with it.